Well, hello. Welcome back to Stories with Grandpa. We're going to work a little more out of this book today. We read the uh, Put Me in the Zoo. And now we're going to check out A Fly Went By. That's the next one. So we'll turn it to the beginning. I think that's the beginning. Yes, sir. So here we are. A Fly Went By by Mike McClintock and illustrated by Fritz Siebel. That boy looks like he's having a good time laying in the sun and here goes a fly. I wonder what we're gonna find in this story. So here we go. For Kim and Leslie. I sat by the lake. I looked at the sky and as I looked, a fly went by. Looks like he's just having a great time. That fly looks like he's in a hurry, though. I wonder about this. A fly went by. He said, oh, dear. I saw him shake. He shook with fear. And when I saw that fly go past, I asked him why he went so fast. I asked him why he shook with fear. I asked him why. He said, oh, dear. He said, I must get out of here. Oh, he's worried about something. The fly said, look, and you will see, that frog, that frog is after me. Oh, oh, he's leaping there. That boy's watching that. The fly went past, the frog came fast. Wow. I don't know what's going to happen next. He'll just eat him and that'll be the end of the story, maybe. I asked the frog, I asked him, why, why do you want to get that fly? There is why. Frog's looking back. The frog said, me? I want no fly, but I must hop, and this is why. Oh, that cat, he said. Just look and see. That cat, he said, is after me. He doesn't look like he likes that cat very much. And the boy's like, hmm, I wonder about this. Then he was gone with one big hop. The cat ran up and I said, stop. Boy, he looks like he's in a hurry. Now stop, 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 I told the cat. Do not pick on the frog like that. Well, it looks like the cat's not mean. The cat said, look, I want no frog. I have to get away from... What would that be? The cow? Dog! Oh, he's chasing him all right. He sure looks that way. As a dead boy has to jump out of the way before he even gets crashed over. So, the fly ran away in fear of the frog who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. Dog, cat, frog, fly. One ran from the other, the other ran too, from one who came after. Now what could I do? It's interesting, everyone's afraid of the next guy. Nobody's really being chasing, they're all being chased. Away past the lake went the fly and the frog, away past the lake, ran the cat and the dog. My goodness, the lake's over there. Boys climbing the fence to follow this fiasco, see what's going to happen. They went past a shed, and they went up a hill. I ran, and I said, I will stop them, I will. The fly does not know that the frog is not mad. The frog does not know that the cat is not bad. The cat runs in fear of the dog. I can tell if I can stop him, then all will be well. I guess this is true. I wonder what will happen then. I ran a lot. I ran so fast I came up to the dog at last. Now stop, I said. You are the one who did all this? Why do you run? Why do you want to bite that cat? Oh, you are bad to be like that. 
Why are you trying to bite that cat? What do you think? The dog, does he look mean? I don't think so. The dog said, no, this is not so. I want no cat. The cat can go. I do not want to bite the cat. I run to get away from that. Well, I don't see anything. I wonder what he th may. Oh, I wonder if he's trying to run away from his tail. Maybe. I haven't read this book. Oh, <laughs> that pig! Well, that's a big pig. That pig, he said. Look back and see. She likes to bite and she wants me. <laughs> I like the book. I like the color of the boy's hair. That's really cool coloring. So now we've got this big circle going on here, right? So the fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. The dog ran away in fear of the pig. And my, she was mad, and was she big? Huh. Is this ever going to end? Will the pig eat the dog? I said to the pig, So you are the one in the back of all this. Why Now why do you run? Now why should a pig bite a dog, I said. And why are you mad? Are you out of your head? The pig said, I am not out of my head. See what is after me? Look, she said. So now she's running from something. So she doesn't want the dog either. <laughs> that looks like a cow and a calf. That cow will hit me, said the pig. Those things up on her head are big. Look at those horns, eh? So the pig ran past. She ran past fast. Then the cow ran up too, and a little. Then the cow ran up, and a little cow too. I said, Now what got into you? Do not pick on the pig, you two. So there's the mother and the baby. The cow said, Pig? The pig can go. That is not why we run, oh no, but someone bad has made us run. He wants to kill my little one. Hmm, I asked the cow, who wants to kill your little one? Why, no one will. So do you think he has the answer this time? This is going on a long ways. Ooh, what's that? The cow said, look, up on the hill, the fox is there. He comes to kill. The cow and the little cow ran past, all full of fear. They ran past fast. I wonder what those are all, cherries or apples or berries? But they're not looking at that. They're looking at that fox, and they're getting out of there. What's this, an old prospector or something? Oh, he's a tent. He's camping, right? And they run right through his tent. So, they, the fly ran away in fear of the frog. Who ran from the cat? Who ran from the dog? The dog ran away from the pig. And now, the pig ran away in fear of the cow. They came to the woods. And there was a tent. But they did not stop in and out. They all went. <laughs> And, la and last came the fox, so he was the one who made them all fear and made them all run. Yes, he was the one who was bad, I could tell. If I could stop him, then all would be well. Fly, frog, cat, dog, pig, cow, fox. I don't know. I told the fox, Oh, shame on you. Oh, shame, shame, shame for what you do. You want to kill the little cow? You stop, or I will whip you now. He's got a stick. He's going to whack that fox if he doesn't smarten up. The fox said, Now, what did I do? Why do you say, Oh, shame on you? 
I tell you, I would never kill that little cow. I never will. Does that mean the fox is being chased by something? Or thinks he is? Oh! There's some slippers and underwear and a big long gun, 12 gauge double barrel gun. The fox said, This is why I ran. Back in the woods, I saw a man. I saw a man. He had a gun. He wants to get me. Let me run. Back up just a tiny bit. So, the fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. The dog and the pig and the cows, they all ran, and then came the fox who ran from the man. Look at them all, ran straight through that house, straight through somebody's yard, straight over the brick wall, smashed that all through, and away they go. What a bunch of mayhem. They came to a house and went down the hall, and when they went out, there was a big wall, but that did not stop them. Oh, no, not at all. Can you imagine if all of that stuff ran through your house? Hmm. Now they're in town. They ran and they ran. They came to a town. They went up one way and then they went down. They went up one way and then down another. They ran and they ran one after the other. They came to a bank, but they did not stop. They went in the bank with a jump and a hop. With a jump and a hop, they ran in, and then they went out the back way and ran on again. My goodness. The boy's still trying to figure this out, and there's the man, there's the fox, there's the cows and the pig and the cat and the frog. So the dog must be inside here, huh? Yeah. That guy looks a little surprised. I ran as fast as I could run. I told the man, you are the one in the back of this. You are the one who wants the fox. Put down your gun. Fox? Fox? The man said, no, I saw no fox, but I must go for you, see, you, for you should see. Yes, you should see the thing that now is after me. So he's not even hunting that fox. wonder what it is. I did not see it, said the man. I took my gun and then I ran, for I could hear it bump and thump. It was so bad it made me jump. It was so bad it made me fear. It was so big. It was so near. It must be ten feet tall, he said, a big and fat and bad and red. Why, it can bite and kick and kill, and it will do it. Yes, it will. I hear it now. Come on, I say, for I must run and get away. He looks pretty nervous, and there's this bump, thump coming towards everybody. What do you think it is? Must be a monster, maybe, huh? The man ran past, fast, fast, fast. What did I hear? A bump and a thump? It was so bad, it made me jump. So I'd mind a tree, so he's a little safer, huh? I was about to run away, but then I saw the thing and say, it was not tall. It was not mad. It was not big. It was not bad. Was this the thing that made them run and made them fear? Was this the one? What is it? <laughs> it was a little sheep. Look at that. So tame it came to me and it was lame. I saw what made the bump and thump. I saw the thing that made me jump. The sheep said, look at this tin can. I cannot get it off. I ran. 
I ran for help, I saw a man. I went to him, but then he ran. Why did he run away from me? I just want help, as you can see. Got that thing stuck on his foot. I said, I will get help for you, and I can help the others too. For now I know just what to do. Hmm. I wonder if maybe they were all afraid of the wrong thing. Oh man, I called, come back, come here. This is a sheep, so have no fear. The sheep wants help, for it is lame. Come back, come here. And then he came. Just peeking to see if maybe there's the trick, but it looks like it's safe. Got that thing stuck on his foot. There we are. And then the man took off the can. But still the others ran and ran. They did not know about the can. I had to call so they would hear. I had to tell them not to fear. I had to tell them all was well. And so I gave a great big yell. Stop! Crash. Everyone crashes into the next one. I wonder if they felt foolish. I said to them all, You must not run away. No one is after you. No one, I say. You all ran away, and now I know why. I sat by the lake, and there came a fly. The fly ran away in fear of the frog, who ran from the cat, who ran from the dog. The dog ran away in fear of the pig, who ran from the cow. She was so big. The cow ran away from the fox, who ran as fast as she could in fear of the man. That man heard a thump, and he away ran. It was just a sheep with an old tin can. There they all are, watching this ex explanation, eh? The man and the fox and the cow and the calf and the pig and the dog and the cat and the frog and the fly. When are they going to happen now? They all have a party. I looked at them all and then I could tell they all had no fear and now all was well. So they all went away. They all waved goodbye. They look all happy now. So what? So I sat by the lake and looked at the sky. He fixed the problem, is it the end? Yes, it is. It's a good way to end the day, huh? Sitting at the lake, looking at the sky like that with a good orange sunset. So what do you think? Is that one of your new favorite stories? That's a good one, huh? So thanks for watching and reading along with me on the A Fly Went By. So we'll catch you later for the next one. See you later.